Pablo's chicken. So Southern Fried Chicken is all about that spicy coating and ours starts with almonds. Ground almonds to give that lovely crumb. And instead of deep frying our chicken, our Southern Fried Chicken is going to be baked. So 180 grams of almonds goes into the bowl. Three teaspoons of hot smoked paprika. If you only had normal paprika, you could actually add a bit of cayenne for that heat. Cumin, which is brilliant, the chicken. One and a half teaspoons of that. You need to make sure it's well seasoned, so we get about one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. Just a teaspoon of dried thyme. Same again of oregano. And for that proper southern fried seasoning, you've got to have some onion powder. Three quarters of a teaspoon of that. And finally, add the same again of garlic powder. Stir the herbs and spices together with your ground almonds and the mix for your crispy coating is ready. So with our chicken, we've got eggs. We've got to make a sort of egg dippy bowl here. And then let's do our whisking and some seasoning. Because we know that southern fried chicken is big on flavor. I'm going to start off with a thigh, because I'm a thigh girl. In. In you go. That's going to get a lovely eggy bath. Straight into Jazz's spice mix. Yep, how good that looks. Mm. Oh, that's my piece. OK, let's go drumstick. I personally wouldn't go for a breast here, because I think it's all about the bone. Bone in chicken is juicier and lovelier, and I want that authentic chicken shop feel. And skin on. It's got to have the skin on. That's the best bit to get that lovely crust. So we already know we've got great ingredients. We went to the farmer's market, we met the farmer, told us all about this great chicken, and this is properly free range, isn't it? Mm. I mean, this chicken's got muscles. Look at that. Juicy, juicy drumsticks. The final thigh. We're happiest when our friends, family, clients, readers, they challenge us to make our version of their favourite foods, whether it's brownies or pizzas or pies. And making this was so incredibly satisfying because everybody loves southern fried chicken. It's such a big flavour. We love it in England. And we really enjoyed trying to recreate that secret recipe. So we played around with lots of spices and I think we really hit the nail on the head. So look at that, it's absolutely fabulous and so simple to do. So now we pop it into the oven for about 45 minutes until it's sizzling. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. It's ready. It's about time. Oh, the smell's been killing me. It's pretty magical. Mm, there it is. Pablo's chicken. It gets you every time and about time too. You can't beat a cooling lime slaw with the spices of this chicken. Probiotic homemade ketchup. This is my dream meal. Oh, it's all sticky, look. Mmm. <gasps> On the plate. Oh, it's spicy. No deep frying and no breadcrumbs. Our succulent and spicy Pablo's chicken is delicious with a side of fresh, crunchy coleslaw and a dollop of homemade ketchup. Our one pan full Monty. Organic veg, top quality meat and biodynamic eggs make this breakfast the ultimate in comfort food.